Hey, Dan. Hey, Sean. How's it going? Good, good. Hey, I had another question for you. Yeah. I was wondering if you could give me a rundown of sort of the benefits, drawbacks, or scenarios that make the most sense for copy on write versus merge on read. Sure, absolutely. So uh, in order to understand a little bit more about what we're actually talking about with copy on write, merge on read, uh, it, it helps to understand like what, what problem are we actually trying to solve? And historically, big data data sets were really hard to update surgically. Uh, typically, if you had some updates to make to your, uh, your large data set, uh, say, removing some identifiers or moving, removing records, replacing them with updated information, that required going back and rewriting either the entire data set or partitions within that data set and doing that kind of incrementally. So what we're doing with copy on write versus merge on read is we're actually solving a really complicated problem about how do you make surgical changes to your data set? How do you perform deletes or updates within a very large uh, data set? Sure. So there's kind of two general approaches that you can use within Iceberg. One is copy on write. And, and this really gets to, well, how do you affect those deletes? How do you actually push those through the data set? Yeah. So copy on write is kind of like an optimized version of the old way of doing things, where instead of going and rewriting all of the data, you figure out which files actually need to be rewritten and just rewrite those. So that means if you're just trying to rewrite maybe a hundred records out of a you know, 400 million row data set, you just have to rewrite whatever files those few records are in. And that is a huge savings, uh, but it still does require that you actually rewrite some of the data. The alternative to that is an actual merge on read. So merge on read is more about identifying which records are deleted or updated within the, within the data set, and then applying that when you actually read the data. So this would be encoding the data in one of two forms within Iceberg. One form is what we call an equality or nominal delete, which means that you're identifying a record by ID and you're saying, hey, this record is deleted at this time. Okay. The other is a positional delete. So that would be identifying, hey, within this particular file, record number 117 is deleted. Okay. And then you can also add new files via, you know, just adding files to the data set. So if you're replacing or updating records. Mm -hmm. But in order to do that, the reader needs to know how to reconcile those and make sure that it's producing a data set that is actually accurate. And so that's what it's doing. It's merging those deletes as it's reading the actual data to make sure that whatever is produced is, is an accurate data set. Oh, okay. Now the benefits here, there are trade-offs between each one of those. Like if you're thinking about something like a streaming application, mm -hmm. it's gonna have a really hard time figuring out within a very large data set, positionally, like where it needs to delete a record. And that's where you might lean towards more of the identity-based deletes, the equality deletes. Okay. Uh, because it can produce those as it, as it actually produces the records. Uh, that has some drawbacks because, of course, those apply pretty broadly and you have to like collect all of those IDs when you're actually doing a read and compare. Whereas like a delete for a specific row offset, you have a file that identifies which rows need to be deleted and it's a, it's a very much more optimized merge operation. So if you're doing batch operations, you know, merge on read with positional deletes may be better. If you're doing a streaming operation, it's very likely that you would be doing the um, the equality based deletes. Okay. Um, those are some of the different kind of scenarios and some of those trade offs. A lot of it comes down to how much churn is happening within the data. If you're rewriting a lot of data, you might want to do a copy on write because you're going to be, you know, producing a whole bunch of data that needs to be rewritten. If you need to do it quickly in kind of a streaming fashion without a lot of context, equality, you know, merge on read type of deletes are, are probably optimal for those kind of scenarios. Um, so hopefully that gives you a little idea of some of the different flavors and what they might be used for. Does that kind of answer your question? Yeah, that really provides a lot of insight. I appreciate it. Thanks. Sure.